Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to use the idea of moles to calculate the masses of reactants and products and chemical reactions. This is higher tier only. In the last video we started looking at calculating reacting masses and we saw equations such as this one. We saw that this tells us that one mole of magnesium plus one mole of chlorine makes one mole of magnesium chloride. In this video we're going to look at equations such as this one. Here you can see that we've got a large 2 in front of the hydrochloric acid. So how do we deal with numbers such as these? Let's look at a sample question. Calculate the mass of magnesium chloride that could be produced from 146 grams of hydrochloric acid. The first thing we need to do is look at the big numbers in the equation. We've got a large 2 in front of the hydrochloric acid and we've got no number in front of the magnesium chloride. This tells us that 2 moles of hydrochloric acid make 1 mole of magnesium chloride. So we know that we've got 146 grams of hydrochloric acid. We need to calculate the number of moles. The number of moles is the mass divided by the relative formula mass. We have 146 grams and the relative formula mass for hydrochloric acid is 36.5. Now remember that large numbers are never used to calculate relative formula mass. Putting these into the equation tells us that we have 4 moles of hydrochloric acid. The chemical equation tells us that 2 moles of hydrochloric acid make 1 mole of magnesium chloride. So we have to divide our number of moles by 2. So 4 moles of hydrochloric acid will make 2 moles of magnesium chloride. To calculate the mass, we need to multiply the number of moles, which is 2, by the relative formula mass of magnesium chloride, which is 95. This gives us a mass of 190 grams, and that's our final answer. So as you can see, tackling these kinds of questions is relatively straightforward. Here's one for you to try. Calculate the mass of sodium sulfate that could be produced from 240 grams of sodium hydroxide. Pause the video now and try this one yourself. OK, first we need to look at the big numbers in the equation we can see that 2 moles of sodium hydroxide makes 1 mole of sodium sulfate. We now need to calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that we have. The number of moles is the mass divided by the relative formula mass. The relative formula mass of sodium hydroxide is 40. 240 divided by 40 tells us that we've got 6 moles of sodium hydroxide. As we've seen, 2 moles of sodium hydroxide make 1 mole of sodium sulfate. So we have to divide our number of moles by 2. So 6 moles of sodium hydroxide will make 3 moles of sodium sulfate. To calculate the mass, we multiply the number of moles by the relative formula mass. The relative formula mass of sodium sulfate is 142. So multiplying 3 moles by 142 gives us 426 grams. And that's our final answer. Here's one more question for you to try. Calculate the mass of hydrogen peroxide that could produce 64 grams of oxygen. Again, pause the video and try this for yourself. OK, let's start by looking at the chemical equation. We can see that 2 moles of hydrogen peroxide are needed to make 1 mole of oxygen. We can calculate the number of moles of oxygen that we need using the equation number of moles equals the mass divided by the relative formula mass. The mass is 64 grams and the relative formula mass of oxygen is 32. This means that we're making 2 moles of oxygen. We know that we need 2 moles of hydrogen peroxide to make 1 mole of oxygen. So that means that we need 4 moles of hydrogen peroxide to make 2 moles of oxygen. To calculate the mass of hydrogen peroxide, we need to multiply the number of moles, which is 4, by the relative formula mass, which is 34. This gives us a mass of 136 grams, and that's our final answer. Remember that you'll find plenty more questions on calculating reacting masses in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to use the idea of moles to calculate the masses of reactants and products and chemical reactions. Mm -hmm.